So maybe you've heard of ChatGPT and what it can do. You think you type something and it'll output a report. But it's actually a lot more complicated than that in the beta version. So most people know that you just type in what you want here down at the search bar. But there's another page on here that is the beta version where they're trying out new features. So I'm going to quickly go over some of these new features that you probably didn't know existed. So the first cool one here is grammar correction. So you can put in a sentence she no went to the market and it will output she did not go to the market so you can take it at a previous report you've written input it here and it will correct all the grammar not just spell check but correct the grammar itself here's a cool one summarize as a second grader you can input a complicated paragraph and it will output as a simplified version of that this is kind of a weird one you can input a movie and it will output the emoji for it so Batman, it's a man and a bat. Transformer, it's a car and a robot. You input a movie and it will output the emojis for it. So something you might never have even thought of, it can do. Now most of these are code-based. So explain code, fix code, translate code. So a lot of these are for if you're a computer programmer, extracting code. Um, that's what a lot of these here are for. Here's one that will make an ad from a product description. So you type in the product description and it will output an ad. Are you looking for a way to give your child a head start in school? Look no further than so. It will write the ad description for you. Here's a too long did not read summarization. You put in something long here, put that at the bottom, and will output the summary of what you just wrote. Here's a product name generator where you put in a description and it will output um, a, a name that might be used for it. Adapt fit, OmniSecure where you put in some general keywords and it will output a product name. Here's one that will actually create a spreadsheet. So you say make a two column spreadsheet of the top science fiction movies and the year of their release. And you put in the format and it will output a spreadsheet for you. Here's an analogy maker, something you would never think a computer could do. You say questions are like arrows in that. And we'll say questions are like arrows in that they both have the power to pierce through the surface. Something you would never think a computer could do or answer, this, this new beta version can do that. Here's a third person converter. So maybe again you have a story that's all in first person. I decided to make and it will convert it to she. Again, this is not just a spell check. This is actually changing the grammar. Here's a really interesting one. It's a recipe maker. So you input your ingredients and it will output a recipe based on those ingredients. So here I typed create recipe, beef carrots, beef broth, onion, banana, pinto beans, Pringles. And it amazingly, in less than 20 seconds, output a recipe and it puts it up here in your, your log. And it's amazing that it knows what each thing is. It's not just randomly doing it. It knows that the banana is added to thicken the broth and add sweetness. It knows what these things are that you put in. I don't know if it's going to be good. It says eat at your own risk, but it will output it a recipe based on the ingredients you have. Here's another cool one. If you're in school, you say create study notes. So what are five key points I should know about ancient Rome? And it'll output five things you should learn about it. Interview questions. So create a list of eight questions for interview with a science fiction author, a reporter, and you're looking for questions about a certain person in a certain field. So here's one I typed in, four interview questions for a president of a car company. And it will output questions that might be worth asking that person. You can just type in interview questions and what field they're, they're working in, and it will output some questions you can ask. So again, this list is in the beta version right now. It's only going to get better. It's only going to get more advanced. Pretty soon you're going to start using ChatGPT for everything. You're going to be typing things in here like you would type in Google to search for. Once you start using it, it opens your, your view to what this thing can really do, and you start using it as a tool in your daily life. Thanks.